The monorail is arriving. Please keep clear of the track. Welcome to the Fertile Crescent Biome, where the grass is always greener. Today at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me, Maggie Monday. Is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? Uh, no. A cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? Uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this uh, wonderful... Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. <laughs> Better come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness! Oh, and welcome back to Let's Play Snubs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. A game that takes place in an era where... I know. Jesus. I don't remember all these pop-ups in the original game. I'm sure they were there, but... Hey, they're shooting their, their buddy. There we go. A game set in an era where you could sexually harass your employer's mother and not face any consequences for it. An era where you could get a quartet of men to serenade your employer's mother about her boobs. And an era where there are zombies. So, this is the uh, first level in the game that actually lets you use vehicles, which, as you can tell, I'm kind of just ignoring right now, but... Refute this! No! No! It's just so much fun to eat brains. I need my weekly brain eating. That was my second favorite arm! That was my second favorite arm! Sit down! Go, 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 go! Alright, so we have a horde of zombies now. And this is actually a pretty big level that's uh, easy to get lost in. I don't think it's too complex of a level. And honestly, I think this is the first time I've ever looked up and <laughs> noticed the dome. But, yep. Uh, this level introduces the idea that Stubbs is actually still retains enough of his human memories that he can use vehicles. So we have the Sadomobile, which is basically a portable fertilizer fertilizing vehicle, I think. So it has a nice little area of effect, and you can definitely feel the, uh, that they just stole the, uh, the controls of, from the ghost from Halo for this, as it controls very similarly to it. So I believe kills with the Sadomobile do reanimate, I think. But, uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. And here we can see we got a, uh... Ooh, a survivor! Let's change that. Oops. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> I only meant to kill you, I didn't mean to dismember you. Oh, right. I... As a kid, I always wondered why. Grubs must have been exclusive to the console or something. Oh, hey, the Yuri Zombie friends can get in. And apparently, kills with the Sadomobile do not, uh, revive as zombies. Oh, yeah, great vehicle physics there. Alright, well, let's finish these guys off quickly. And boom. More zombies for the horde. The horde shall conquer all. Ah, uh, they aren't smart enough to actually get out of the vehicle with you. 
Oh my god, I just realized how, uh... <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many years I played this game and I just realized this guy is supposed to look like a dick and balls. With the, uh, the two tanks with fertilizer hooked up to the gun. <laughs> oh man. And yep, the uh, police for some reason are driving automobiles. Gotta love those physics. As you can see, they at least fixed it from Halo where uh, an instant, you know, just tapping him isn't enough to, uh, to instant kill him. You actually have to be driving some speed in order to do that. But yeah, I think a lot of the strategy back in the day is to just kind of meander around this level. And we should be able to get in here. Yep. And there should be a switch in here. I've got a wife and kids. Oh, copper sauce. I was going to see how many we could stealth eat, but uh. Zombie over there. Nope, you just had to see. my brain! Just had to see it. You know what? Screw it. There we go. <laughs> and this guy's so glitch out. In a training film. Stop! No! No! There's something inside my brain! It's called Deep. And it looks like we found our first hippo for the level, too. Please! Not the throat! So let's go ahead and give that a listen. One of the things that was also important from a, a story and just kind of player motivation standpoint in this level was initializing the chase between Stubbs and Maggie. And uh, you know, hopefully that once the, the player sees Maggie, he falls so deeply in love with her, just like Stubbs does, that he's propelled to complete the entire game and then tell his friends to do so as well. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some story there that we'll get to later. I don't know if the uh, commentary will spoil it before we get there. But uh, pretty sure, yeah, I think that's a really great image showing we just opened that uh, bay door that was locked earlier. You're walking a little funny. If you want me to take a look, just let me know. Fix it, bot. Which also has a. You seem to be in working order, but you never know when disaster may strike. And did they? Have... I can't explain it. I just love repairing things. Did they give them Mexican accents? <laughs> ah, I see the uh, police have arrived. Let's go help the horde. Spit that out, damn it! You're killing me! There we go. More zombies for the horde. I'm bringing you in. It got Why me? As you can hear, the uh, zombies have very loud lungs. I want shroom stuff. A lot of these zombies are actually very loud, but yeah, they have a really obnoxiously loud uh, scream too when they die. And it looks like we've recharged our uh, flatulence meter there. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I bet I hit F to use because you know half the games nowadays use F as the use key, so. That's why you don't overcommit on your melee attacks, kids. Oh, shit, I forgot I uh, fertilized him. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, stop choking me! 
I love how all the brain matter just flies all over the place. Stop hitting me! Projectile brain matter. That's what we need more of in this universe. Okay, I need you to move, buddy. There we go. Up, oh, it looks like we have more coppers. Wow, you were fucking flying. <laughs> Ignore me. Let me drink. Right in the biscuit. <laughs> right in the biscuit. I've never heard that one before. Damn it, man. Uh, the very appetizing sounds of brainial destruction. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, go back, go back. Oh, there is still so much to explore. Ooh, but Guidebot's here, so it's time to learn how to use our gut grenades. Hmm. Please, what's up the throat? Someone was blind. Holy oh, shit. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> like, I don't know how you mess up that badly. There we go. Now we got some backup. Why, hello there. It's me, Guidebot. Remember me from the plaza? Are you sure that hole in your side doesn't bother you? Because it bothers me. I can see all those internal organs slurping around in there. <laughs> he shot his buddy in the oh, no. face. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wasn't that oh, no. your pancreas? No and gut grenades are the single most useful item in this game, by far. It's basically a halo sticky grenade. So now we got about six zombies following us, so let's continue to pursue Maggie Monday. I'll show you hard science! Come on there! This? Uh oh! Emergency! Emergency! That's my arm. You got this, sonny boy. Yes, I, I don't know the exact parameters. I don't know if it's like random chance or what, but you can rip the arm off of someone and use it. And it'll insta kill three human enemies. And then you'll just drop it. I suppose at that point all the bones are broken, but. Oh. There's something inside my brain! my brain! is the only logical option. It's chewing my brain! Building our little horde up here into a big horde. I do like some of the touches. Gift shop. Is this supposed to be? Hmm. Yikes! I'm bringing you in. Oh. I think I know where it went. Oh, there's no gift shop here. I feel lied to. So I want to see what's down the other path. Let's see what's here. I can fix anything for anybody, anytime. Well, I'm surprised they didn't hide a hippo there. That seems like a obvious place to do it, but looks like there's only one way forward, so we will take it.
There we go. Let's try to bring as many as we can into the uh, next zone here. Mm. Well, yeah, it's hello to you too. Come on, boys. And honestly, in the later levels, a big part of this game is properly managing your uh, your zombie horde. I remember one thing I used to do in the uh, demo of the game is there's this elevator that um, serves as a level transition. And what I would do is... Uh, if you actually, the zombies wouldn't go in it by default, and as soon as you entered it, then the level would transition. So what I would do is I would gather up my zombies and shove them one by one into the elevator, so that way I could basically start the uh, next level with like 20 zombies that I would push out of the elevator. There we go. We got two paths here, so let's split the difference here. There we go. Now we can flank the other cops from behind. There we go. Stop choking me! And we got all our powers recharged now too, so that'll be useful. There, get the, the worst one out of the way first. Killing me. Yes, good job, zombies. Ah, hello there. There's something inside my brain. Always watch for flanking from zombies, boys. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> there we go. Are you getting enough lead? Sit down. Stop hitting me. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, hippo. In the uh, second half of this level, um, we also introduce one of Stubbs's most powerful abilities, and that's his gut grenade. Uh, the story behind the gut grenade is that, you know. While Stubbs doesn't have guns or lasers or anything at his own uh, disposal, it was important for us to be able to give Stubbs some attack to attach, attack these uh, ranged enemies. So he pulls out one of his festering wounds and chucks it at one of the his great, enemies. One of the great things about uh, Stubbs, the, the thing that reanimated Stubbs, the process by which he became a zombie, is that it actually allows him to regrow certain portions of his anatomy that might disappear over the course of your unaverage zombie adventure. Like a hand or an internal organ. I forgot about that cutscene, otherwise I wouldn't have advanced with it, but yeah, apparently uh, the, uh, the barbershop guy is apparently convinced we're chasing after uh, Maggie. And he's not wrong for once. And zombie stealth kill. Choking me. I'll show you. Oh. A mother. Are these guys sh oh, they're They're shooting at my zombie in the hallway. What a perfect distraction. Whee! And honestly, the plants are pretty beautiful, too, in their own way. Incoming! I'll show you what more. Try to use some cover here. Go, 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 hey, that was go. my kill. I'll show you what more. Stop eating! That broke very few. My brain! The horde grows, you can't stop us. Haven't you ever watched a zombie movie? Oh, my every last... ah! 
No, you killed cop zombie number 357. I'm bringing you in. I'd also like to point out how many police this fucking city has. I mean, I think we've seen like 200 cops they have. They easily have like a police department the size of like Los Angeles or New York City. Or a town that is mostly scientists and a couple selected rich people. And some farmers, I guess, but... Like, I can't- I don't see this town being bigger than, like, a hundred thousand people. Ow! I'm bleeding! And they've got, uh, <laughs> enough police to... To, uh, wage all-out war on the streets. I've seen that in- It's chewing my brain! I'll show you what for! Not the face! My legs! Oh! Okay. What's going on? I'm bringing you in. I don't think so. Spit that out, damn it. I'm bringing you oh. in. Oh, oh no. Our first step. Oh my god, I put us back here. That's kind of funny. Uh, gotta love a checkpoint based save system, am I right? Oh yes, look at me, shoot the glass. Oh, he's alerted this time. I'm bringing you in! Ow. Get away! I've got a wife and kids! And we will turn them into zombies too. Because everyone's equal as a zombie. Stop hitting me! I think guns are the equalizer, but really, it's death. It's chewing my brain! Just eat everyone. I'll show you hard science. I guess I'll take his arm. And we'll take him out. You're gonna get it now. And we'll grab him. I was really hoping to just instantly recharge my fart ability from uh all the cops I've stunned, but then my helpful zombies had to go and try to help. Oh, my brain! Takes a while to charge that up, too. I mean, it is very powerful. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother with this. Well, I can't help it if I get scared. Refute this! Ow. Oh. oh my god. Trying to eat some brains here, people. A zombie! Right there! Let's recharge our health. That should be enough. Great, I'll show you what for. There we go. Go, go! Look, there's one! Sit down! Stop eating me! Stop eating my brains! Weird, I would have thought that would have given us a second gut grenade by now. Because I thought brain eating uh, filled up uh, two thirds of the gut grenade, but maybe I'm wrong. Everything seems to be working. That's the other uh, major character that we introduce at the very end of this level, this Otis Monday. Uh, Otis actually has a uh, sort of an epic conspiracy theory which we couldn't divulge. We, we couldn't get around to the whole thing in the course of the game, but you'll hear bits and pieces of it. And uh, this level is actually the first part where you get to hear a little of what makes Otis so special. And he only gets more special as the game goes on. Yeah, I think we set up a lot of nice carrots with this level. We say, hey, here's a lot of the people who are involved that maybe you didn't see in 
the, the intro cinematic, and uh, you're definitely guaranteed to see them all again before the game is through. I'm very convinced I missed at least one hipple in the uh, <laughs> great. Move. in I'm that sure first part of this level. Not the face. Oh. Oh, not my brain. And I think this is where it ends right here, just about. So if it does, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then. Galdane. The dead walk. Oh, mighty voices in my head. I'll never doubt you again. The commies have infiltrated this country so completely that even the dead have turned against us. Well, the Quaker State Irregulars ain't going without a fight.